What's going on guys, the Rugs here, and take a looky. We are finally starting up my new series, Force Might, called Build Like a Boss. We are in the first episode, so I figured why not start this off with the god everyone loves to hate, the trickster man himself, my boy Loki. Uh, yeah, you see, he's excited too. He's excited, he's excited about this. I mean, why not? He's Loki. But anyway, like I was saying. So... With Loki, as you guys must know by now, he's more of a burst, you know, raw ability-based damage god as far as assassins go. He's not really in it for the basics. So for boots, I'm going to pick up Warrior Tabi for the physical power instead of the attack speed. Um, second uh, item we're going to pick up here. I know this is kind of controversial because most people like to go, you know, pretty much how everyone else builds him with the transcendence. But I tend to pick up Hydra's Demont. For that extra physical um basic attack damage that you get after you pop an ability and it tends to help out a lot just in case you don't kill him with the four you can always hit him with two basics after next we're gonna pick up brawler's beat stick because you get that pin you get the physical power you get some mana and you can take down those healers with that you know slow the healers down um next Jotun's pretty much the same thing but i'm getting it for the cooldown um next item is gonna be masamune and i know a lot of people are gonna hassle me with this but i'm explaining to you why i picked this up in a little bit um but the item you're gonna get lastly in the final slot is gonna be blood forge i mean it's amazing this item is just godlike especially on assassins so i tend to pick that up all the time but about masamune as you can see here you deal additional physical power damage against gods with more health than you and it's equal one power for every 10 health so the reason why i picked this up is pretty much because half the time you're playing this game the other team is likely to have at least two or three you know people that have about twice the amount of health that you have so you're going to get that extra 50 physical power on top of whatever you have from masamune already so that's plus 100 power adding to whatever physical power you have in your build so it gives you a nice little power spike and that's pretty much why i pick it up but as you can see here I'm doing my little uh, combo with Loki. You know how we always do with the Lokis. We pop our one, our three, and then him with the four. Uh, the four doesn't kill him. You hit him with a, a good two or three basic attacks, and that's how you take out your enemy. I mean, that's that's the bread and butter for Loki. A lot of people tend to be too aggressive with them, and you know, they feel like if they don't kill him um, off the bat, then you know they feel like they failed. But hey, if you do your damage, that's good enough. A lot of times people tend to get killed trying to secure their kills and that ends up bad and costing the game. So remember guys, when you're playing Loki or any assassin, just because you don't get the kill doesn't mean you're not doing your job as an assassin. Um, but as you guys saw right here, um, I showed you his decoy. That is his most essential move. That is the first thing you upgrade when building Loki because that's how you get your experience and you get your gold early in levels before you can start building up that, you know amazing amount of damage um it's his only minion clear i mean everybody that plays loki you know this man upgrade that too as fast as you can so you can get that golden experience it is very essential for any loki um but i'm gonna show you guys real quick how much damage this does like this build you shred through the gold fury like nothing um camps are pretty much light work for you um, squishy gods are just that's who you want to go for the squishy gods are your targets tanks maybe um because like remember I, you have masamune so you can box with a tank depending you know if he has teammates with him like one or two don't do it um but if he's on his lonesome you can box him out and get that kill um but yeah guys that's my loki build hopefully you guys enjoyed it um, that's about it for the video. Make sure to comment, subscribe, and share if you enjoyed episode one of Build Like a Boss. Um, leave your thoughts and any build ideas in the comment section below. You know, share this video with your friends. I really appreciate it. And until next time, my people, like always, stay frosty.